Bodhgaya, place of supreme enlightenment. We are entering the town Bodhgaya, also known as Uruvela in Buddha's time. In the middle of the town is the Mahabodhi temple, with the Bodhi tree behind it, and the surrounding shrines marking Buddha's seven weeks in Bodhgaya. It is undoubtedly the most exquisite looking temple in Bodhgaya. The Mahabodhi Temple in Bodhgaya is the most hallowed place on earth to all Buddhists who come from all over the world to pay homage. It was here under the Bodhi tree Siddhartha Gautama attained supreme knowledge to become Buddha, the enlightened one. The serenity of the atmosphere remains in the subconscious soul of any visitor who comes to this place on a pilgrimage that the Lord himself had chosen for meditative contemplation. King Asoka was the first to build a shrine at this sacred spot. In the first century AD, two Sunga queens enlarged the Bodhi shrine, and in the second century AD, the Kushan king Huviska built a temple on the site to install a Buddha image, which was then in vogue. Cunningham suggested that the entire Mahabodhi temple, as seen today, follows the Huviska structure. The temple is an architectural amalgamation of many centuries cultures and heritages. While its architecture has a distinct stamp of the Gupta era, it has late ages inscriptions describing visits of pilgrims from Sri Lanka, Myanmar and China between the 7th and 10th century AD. It is perhaps still the same temple Huen Sang visited in the 7th century. As it was built over the remains of the Ahsoka shrine, the position of the diamond throne remains unchanged. Inside the temple, one comes face to face with a great gilded image of the 10th century Buddha statue in earth-touching posture to signify the earth as witness to his perfections when Mara challenged him. It marks the actual spot of the seat of enlightenment. The statue is supported by a pedestal decorated with figures of lions and elephants. At the back of the Mahabodhi temple is the Bodhi tree under which the Buddha attained supreme enlightenment. It is a pipal tree, Ficus religiosa, also known in Pali as Asata. A red sandstone slab now marks this holy spot. It is the secondary Vajrasana. After enlightenment, Buddha spent the first week in meditation under the Bodhi tree, experiencing the bliss of Arahantship.
The Buddha spent the second week gazing at the Bodhi tree in gratitude with unblinking eyes. The Animisalokana Chaitya, seen at a distance, marks the exact site. The Buddha spent the third week in walking meditation along a cloister called Chankama beside the Bodhi tree. A concrete platform now shows the site and this uncovered area marks the exact spot where his feet touch the ground. The fourth week was spent in the Ratnagara, jeweled house, reflecting on the Abhidharma. As he contemplated on its deep and profound doctrine, there arose great rapture in his omniscient mind, which caused the body to emit rays of various colours. The Buddha spent the fifth week at the Ajapala Nigroda tree. This site is located at the bottom of the staircase as one enters the Mahabodhi temple in Bodhgaya. Buddha spent the sixth week at Muchalinda tree. While he was meditating, a severe thunderstorm arose, and the serpent king of the lake, Muchalinda, protected the Buddha by coiling around his body and using his hood to cover the Buddha's head. The lake and the event is caricatured by a Buddha statue around which a serpent has coiled with a hood over the head of the statue. The seventh week was spent at Rajayatana tree where two merchant brothers, Tapusa and Balika, offered him honey and rice cakes. After that they took the two refuges by reciting Buddham Saranam Gachami, Dhammam Saranam Gachami. They were the first lay disciples of the Buddha. When asked for an object of veneration, the Buddha gave eight locks of his hair. The brothers took it back to their country and enshrined it in a shrine, the Shwe Dagon Pagode, in Yangon, Burma.